Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing great. Today is a fabulous day to cut up your set shit. Yes, I know she's cuter like this. She's comfier. But do you want to be cute and comfy or sexy and comfy? I choose the latter. So I decided I would cut this baby up and turn her into a sexy two-piece skirt set. So I thrifted this sweatshirt for about $7 or less. I got it off Vinted. I've had it for a while. But I decided it was time for her to get a new job. So this colors, they're so summery. And I'm definitely living for them. But look at this cute two-piece set. Tell me that that's not hella cute. I love this and I love that you can wear the pieces separately like if you just want to throw on the sweatshirt to the pair of jeans you can do that and if you want to wear the skirt to the different top you can do that so we love a versatile DIY and I'm super happy with how this came out and I love the slits on the skirt I think they add some extra pizzazz to the skirt make her look like she's actually doing more than she is and it's giving what it's supposed to give so I'm here for it and warmer weather means legs come out out, skin comes out everything comes out so get into it but before we get into the tutorial I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video in case you're unaware Skillshare is an online community with literally thousands of classes I guarantee you anything you want to learn you will find a class on Skillshare that will help you achieve that goal so if you decide at 3 a.m. you're going to take a pottery Skillshare has amazing pottery classes available and yes big life-changing decisions happen at 3 a.m. If they don't for you, are you even normal? And in case you want to be more productive, you're tired of wasting your time watching Criminal Minds, Skillshare has literally a thousand plus classes on productivity, so you're guaranteed to find something that will help you get your life on track. And if you've binge watched Project Runway and decide you want to be a fashion designer, Skillshare has classes for that too. So Skillshare is just amazing. So many classes to choose from. I promise you there's always something to do and I'm personally taking this introduction to draping class by Anya she's so gorgeous and she has so much knowledge so I'm toying with the idea of making my own wedding dress and this class has been really helpful in showing me that yes you can do it but you just might need to get your act together so I'm taking these classes and I'm preparing for that and I love that Skillshare breaks it down into small minutes that you can consume easily and if you're like me and have the attention span of a fly it really helps when the classes are not so overwhelmingly long. So if Skillshare feels like something you want to try, Skillshare has been kind enough to give the first 1,000 people to click the link in my description bar a free trial of the premium membership. And after that, it's only around $10 a month. So make sure you click the link and take advantage of this. But for now, let's get into making this TP set. So here I am marking how long I want my top to be. I actually wish I'd gone a bit shorter. I don't know if it's a hoe in me when the weather gets warmer she just comes out but I do wish I'd made it shorter but I ended up not doing that because life you know so I just cut along the point I marked and since my sweater has all these lines going through it it was easy to cut in a straight line and once that was done I just stretched out the bottom just to make it roll up and make it look cute and once that was done that's literally it you're done with your top so now to make the skirt I seam ripped off the bottom band this is a band that was at the bottom of my sweatshirt I got rid of her because she didn't pass the vibe check and yeah she wasn't bussing I'm a Gen Z yes I'm not a millennial anymore so now I'm seam ripping open the sides of my top and actually I wish I just cut this open because there was literally no point to seam ripping this I thought I was preserving fabric you know being a sustainable queen but I ended up just cutting it off anyway so just seam rip the side or cut it depending on how much time you have which I guess is a lot because we are in a Panasonic and now once both sides are seam ripped open or cut open you're now going to separate the pieces forever this relationship cannot continue because they are so sweet together and this makes you sick to your stomach and you're a little bit jealous because you're forever alone so for the sanity of everyone just keep them apart and now with one piece I'm folding it in half just making sure everything is in the right place the papers are signed and the divorce has to happen yes we are seeing this through so once that piece was folded in half I took this cute skirt I also thrifted it for 
from Vinted. It's so cute. And I'm going to fold this in half and use it as a template for my skirt. So take a skirt you love the fit of. This one fits me like a glove, baby. So I wanted to translate that into this skirt. And now you're just going to place it on top of your piece. Make sure you align everything and you're going to draw the outline. I did not leave a seam allowance because I love my clothes to be tight. But if you want a looser fit, just make sure you add a bit of a seam allowance. So once you've traced out your shape, guess what? I'm taking back my words. I did add half an inch of seam allowance, mostly because I looked at this and I thought, will this fit my hips? And the answer was no. So I added in a seam allowance just to be safe. So once a half inch seam allowance is in there, I'm going to cut out my skirt shape, take my sweet time doing this. And once that's done, you have the back bit of your skirt. So now you're going to take the other piece, make sure they don't get together. Remember they're divorcing and I'm marking two inches from that folded edge and this is to make sure we accommodate for the slit okay she's going to take up a bit of space and you need to allow her to be who she is so I drew a straight line through the two inch points and once the straight line was drawn I'm going to take my back piece and align it with that line and the space we're leaving is to just give an allowance for the slit that way the skirt actually fits you if you don't do this this might not go around your hips so make sure you just just do this just to be safe. So I'm going to cut off the excess edge on the other side of my skirt because we don't need her. And once she's left the building, we change the locks. And once the locks are changed, we now have two pieces that are going to make our skirt. So the front bit and the back bit. Let's work on the front bit. So now I'm marking four inches from the folded edge. And this is where our slit is going to be because it's folded in half. It's going to be eight inches apart. The slits that is. I don't know why I'm saying single. It's two slits, man, okay? So I'm going to draw a straight line through the four inch points and this is where our two slits are gonna go. So cut through that four inch mark that you drew, the four inch line that is. Yes, you're separating them. We're going deep with this divorce thing. Nothing is gonna come together if you don't intend it to. So once we open up the middle bit and the side bits, you now have three bits to your skirt. And now we're just going to join them all together because life is pointless and what are we even doing anyway? So I'm I'm just joining the pieces right sides together and I'm pinning them in place so that sewing is a breeze and once all the pins are in place I'm marking three inches from the bottom this was going to be the length of my slit personally and specifically that was okay for me if you want yours to be longer adjust this to your preference so you're only going to sew along the pins and leave the bottom open because this is going to form your slit and you're going to repeat this process with the other side it's literally the same exact thing bring in your piece for questioning and then put her right sides together with the other piece and you're going to pin along the entire edge I don't know why I pinned and then unpinned the bottom I just thought it was easier but you can just pin up to the point you want your slit to start so I marked my three inches put in my pin took out the last pin reshuffled everyone and now we're going to sew along the pins so since my fabric is stretchy we're going to bring out the zigzag stitch you can also use a stretch stitch or even a triple straight stitch the options are endless unlike your limited dating pool so I just took out the pins as I was sewing I sewed my zigzag stitch and I sewed up until the point where the Mark was glaring at me and telling me do not dare go past this point point." and at that point I backstitched minded my business drank a few glasses of wine because the weather was nice outside it's called self-care Melinda look it up and this is a zigzag stitch I did all this after 100 glasses of wine that's pretty impressive I am kidding do not day drink people so here we're just folding in the excess seam allowance pinning it in place just to make our slit look kind of presentable the zoom meeting camera is on and she is unaware of that so we need to make her look good so once you've pinned both seam allowances you're going to sew a zigzag stitch along the edges of this just to make sure everything is nice and neat and look at that looks like a gem that is ready to be on an engagement ring I don't know that was super random anyway once the slits are sewn down look at that I'm giving you the receipts honey well the sewing wasn't perfect but don't focus on that focus on your failing marriage okay just leave me alone so once the front piece is done we're gonna bring in the back piece are they the same size no does it matter should it I don't know we are all asking the same questions so here I'm just pinning along one edge and I'm going to repeat the 
same process on the other side and then we're going to sew a zigzag stitch along the sides to join our skirts together that way it goes around our body so it's literally the same thing we did before so your zigzag stitch and look at her she looks nice and neat she is ready to party once everything outside is open honestly same so now I'm going to measure 12 and a half inches on my waistband I just wrapped it around my waist and decided this was a snug fit I do wish I'd gone a bit tighter but it is what it is not every day a hoe well every day a hoe and now with a band inside out I'm going to sew along one edge just to close it up and I did my zigzag stitch and it's hard to see because it's in black but trust me there's a zigzag stitch there and now I'm going to turn this the right side out that way the stitching is on the inside and now we have a cute little band to go on our skirt so now the band is the right sides out and I'm just dividing it into quarters and I did this by using the sewn seam to mark the opposite side and then I aligned that mark with the back seam to find the other points so you're just dividing this into four equal bits and what this does is it helps you gather the skirt evenly that way she looks cute <laughs> there is nothing you want more than an ungathered skirt that looks uneven you don't want this to look like it got sewn in a dungeon if that's the look you're going for that's completely okay but I wanted my skirt to look decent so just make sure you divide everything into four and I'm doing the same thing with my skirt I'm folding it in half and since we have the side seams those are going to be two points so I'm now just marking the midpoints of my skirt so once this was done I made sure all the points were visible and we were seeing each other and then I had to transfer the points to the inside because I actually didn't mark them on the right side of my fabric so that was a fail but once they were transferred and I was happy with everything it's now time to bring in the waistband and join this bad boys so I'm putting the waistband with the open edge facing up so you're going to join the open edge of your band to the raw edge of your skirt so you see once you have all the points marked out aligning everyone is an easy job so I did this for all the points align the side seam with the other point just make sure the four points correspond with each other and they're talking to each other nice it's okay if they have a bit of baby fever but they need to know that having a baby and having baby fever are two totally different things I am saying this to myself because girl I think those pregnancy announcements are making me feel like I'm lagging behind in life everyone's popping out a baby and I'm like I'm a baby you know but anyway that was totally random I'm so sorry all I'm doing now is I'm just joining the points together and once the four points were nice and aligned you have joined your four points you have four points okay so now you're going to sew all around and when you're sewing make sure to stretch your skirt bit that way it matches up to your waistband it's honestly super easy to do you just need to focus a bit take your attention away from Facebook or Instagram and focus on this for a minute and I promise you will be fine so you can see me stretch this fabric to infinity and beyond and I sewed my zigzag stitch this is honestly so easy to do once you know that the fabric is evenly divided you don't need to worry about a thing everything will look cute I promise you make sure not to sew over pins I used to sew over pins and that was a huge mistake because you will break your needles and you will lose your sanity so make sure you take out the pins and once the entire edge is sewn down your band is now joined to your skirt and this is what she looks like turn her the right side out and once she's the right side out your skirt is completely done so I decided not to hem the bottom edge because one my skirt is already pretty short and I wasn't trying to flash people well it's their good luck if they see anything but I was trying to keep it to a minimum and I thought the raw edge was cute it made me look edgy it made me look if I club in this and I'm 35 people will think I'm 25 and I didn't miss out on 10 years because we're in a panorama and I couldn't go clubbing so that's the look I'm going for anyway here's a two-piece set she completely passes a vibe check and I am going to be wearing this when I get my vaccine because it's just a cute outfit and everyone needs to see it and that's on period so I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I hope you try and make this DIY I promise you it's super simple to do you could literally do it with your eyes closed anyway 
anyway, thanks for hanging out with me today. It was super fun. It was super chilled. And I hope you enjoyed yourself. And I hope to chill some more with you next week. But until then, be safe and be beautiful and rock the hell out of your double slit hem skirt. See you soon. Bye.